Hi, and welcome to Rapid Immersion, where we discuss questions and topic areas within the digital marketing ecosystem. In this video, should I move my site to HTTPS? If you're wondering about whether or not you should make your website secure and how it will impact your search engine optimization efforts, this video is for you. Let's start by talking about exactly what HTTPS is and what it does. So HTTP is the protocol of the web used to load most web pages. The problem is that this protocol is not overwhelmingly secure. A motivated hacker can monitor your data traffic and see which websites you're accessing. As you can imagine, this becomes a problem if your website asks visitors to complete online forms that contain their confidential information, as unscrupulous individuals can more easily eavesdrop on these browsing sessions. So, to help protect privacy, network engineers developed the HTTPS protocol. The S stands for secure, which signals that the secure version of the protocol is in use. With the secure version, your browser will encrypt data passing through it. In order to understand this encrypted data, a unique decryption code is required. The hacker needs that decryption code, which is really hard to get, otherwise the data is essentially meaningless. So using the secure protocol version makes it a lot harder for third parties to listen in or interfere with browsing sessions. Okay, so upgrading your website to be secure offers your visitors a more private browsing experience. Now, let's talk about why this matters for SEO. In August of 2014, Google acknowledged that offering a secure website experience would be a positive ranking signal. This announcement created a widespread motivation in the webmaster community to explore the topic, especially among website owners that may have not traditionally considered becoming secure, such as those who aren't in the e-commerce space or have a financially oriented site. Now the question is, how important is it to upgrade to the secure protocol version for SEO? Well, the answer is it really does depend on your individual situation, you know, what your site is about, what your audience would expect from a site in your category, uh, the cost to benefit ratio and all that kind of thing. But generally speaking, for now and in the immediate future, having a secure site is considered to be a lightweight ranking signal. So if you make this switch to the secure protocol version, it would be reasonable to expect either no change or a small uplift in organic search visibility, you know, and that is if the process of upgrading is carried out correctly. What most website owners need to keep in mind is that there are plenty of other SEO-centric activities that are more strongly weighted signals that could be pursued instead of this particular move. Now, adopting a medium and a longer term view, offering a secure browsing experience is likely to become more important and valuable. So we do definitely recommend exploring it. The folks at Google are making a push towards a more secure web. And as the dominant search engine in most markets, I think it's wise to align your SEO strategy with their big picture goals. I think it would also be quite reasonable for Google to gradually increase the importance of this particular ranking signal. Outside of that, something else to consider is that by moving to the secure protocol, more of your visitors may be willing to input form details and transact with your website because they feel like it's safer to do so. So if your website as a result becomes more effective at accomplishing your marketing goals, then the value that you receive from visitors, whether they're through SEO or through another channel, increases. As you think about the SEO value of offering a secure website experience, I think it's also quite wise to consider these wider impacts as well. Now, if you've made the decision to move your site to HTTPS, there are vital technical elements that need to be thought through to ensure a smooth transition from an SEO perspective. Please do know that there are horror stories online of websites that make the switch and then lose out significantly. So this process does need to be planned carefully. Please consult with your web developers and your SEO agency um, well in advance. Now, with respect to specific action items for the more technical people out there, you'll find a list underneath uh, in the body of this post of things to keep in mind, as well as links to some of the best resources we found on the topic from around the web. That about wraps us up for now. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in later videos. Bye.